All right, today is a quick review on coordinate grid. Just distance on coordinate grid, find the distance and reflections, everybody's favorite. So when we find the distance between two points, it's got to share a value. It's got to be the same X value or it's got to have the same X value or Y value. This lets us know whether it's a straight horizontal or a vertical line. So look at the first points. It shares an X value. What this tells us is that they are both four units to the left of the origin, which means it's going to be a straight vertical line. So we have four, negative four, three, which is four to the left, three up. That's the first point. Next one, negative four, negative five, four to the left, five down, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that is a straight vertical line because our X's are the same. So that doesn't really help us when we're comparing these. What we're comparing is basically my positive three and my negative five. For those who are really comfortable with number lines, you know that three is three above the axis or the origin and negative five is five below the axis and origin. You can just add those together and get your answer. Three plus five equals eight. They're gonna be eight units apart. Whoa. Make that prettier. All right, eight units. Now, the fail-proof way is actually plot the points like I did here and then just count the number of jumps and the number of units away. So you don't start counting until you actually move your pen or pencil. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, you get eight units apart. All right, now a quicker way, like I said, the negative fours don't really help us. That just lets us know it's a straight line. If you know that we're doing with the Y's, with the Y values here, you just make a quick number line off to the side if you don't have a corner grid. You know, one's positive, one's negative, so we can make zero. One, two, three, above, and then zero, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five. And then we just made a quick number line. You can count the points here and still get eight units for that guy. Same thing over here. This time our Y values are the same, which means it's going to, they're both going to be six units above zero or above the X's, which means it's going to be a straight horizontal line. We're comparing our X's, so it's going to be along the parallel of the X axis. So, negative seven, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven to the left. One, two, three, four, five, six is my first point. Negative two, six. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, this one doesn't cross an axis, so I can't just add the absolute values like I did before. So this one might be easier to just count. One, two, three, four, five units apart. The only time we can add the absolute values like we did over here is when one's a positive and one's a negative integer. All right, now with reflections. Remember, with reflections, it's gotta be the same numbers in the same order. Like if we see a three and a four here, we know it's not a reflection because it's not some kind of three and five. Only one of the values is gonna change. The first thing we're gonna do is plot three, five. We're gonna do it the long way first. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. My point is right there. Okay, if we reflect across the x axis, this is the x. So if I move this point across the x, I literally have to jump down here. Let's make this a different color. Okay, so we are jumping straight down into quadrant four where everything is positive and negative. So it's going to be a positive three and a negative five. Or it might be easier just to count to the axis you reflect across. It is one, two, three, four, five to the X. So then we go one, two, three, four, five away from the X and still we get positive three. And this time we go down five. So the X axis reflection it's three, negative five. Ways to check your work. When you reflect across the X, the X stays the same, and the Y flip to its opposite. All right, if this was a Y axis reflection, we would just count to the Y. This is one, two, three to the Y. So we'll go one, two, three, cross the Y in that quadrant. When we count these, this is three to the left, which is negative three, and it's still one, two, three, four, five above. In this case, when you reflect across the Y, the Y value stays the same, and this time our X is flipped. Also, we know if we jump across the Y, 
we end up in quadrant two where everything is negative positive. So it's gonna be this number negative, that number positive. That's the way it checks out. At this time, go ahead and pause the video. Try this last one on your own before I go over it with you guys. I'll go ahead and plot it. All right, if you plotted that for the x-axis, it'll go straight down where everything is negative. So that would be negative four, negative two. X is set the same, Y is flipped. Y axis reflection, the Y's stay the same. This time, the negative four, it will jump across the Y to quadrant one where everything's positive, so it'd be positive four, positive two. Hopefully that was a quick and easy review. Good enough for you guys to go ahead and complete the assignment in Canvas.